Hey, what's up everybody? With Christmas just around the corner, I got five Christmas food hacks that you guys can use to make your Christmas a little bit more festive and a little bit more fun. All right, so for this hack, we're gonna grab ourselves a bunch of candy canes, peppermint candy canes. When it comes to Halloween and the fall, we're always doing pumpkin stuff, but when it comes to Christmas, it's all about them candy canes, that peppermint. So what we're gonna do is unwrap a bunch of candy canes and we're gonna put them into a blender. That's it. Nice and quick and easy. And now what we have is a little bit of a flavor additive. So what we can do with this powder it smells so good, it smells like Christmas. What we can do with this is take a tablespoon, teaspoon, whatever you want, take some fresh hot chocolate that we have, and we can go ahead and add a tablespoon of this peppermint candy right into there, mix it all up, and there, then you have a delicious, mmm peppermint hot chocolate, so damn good. You can add this to any one of your favorite drinks, even a coffee or whatever it may be, even eggnog. You can put a little bit of whipped cream on top and just sprinkle it on top afterwards. Whatever your heart desires, this is a really, really easy and delicious hack. All right guys, so during Christmas, we always have a little bit of cranberry sauce. But one of the biggest problems with all these canned products, especially jellied stuff, it's easy to open up the can, but it's a lot harder to get it out, right? Because it's stuck. All you gotta do is bang the back of this can. If you make some holes in the back, that's great too. But what we're gonna do, just like so, comes out no problem whatsoever. Give that a try. You'll get your jelly out in two seconds flat. So when Christmas time comes, we like to make our own fresh, delicious cookies. But what's it missing? Some icing. So usually icing comes like this. Uh, in a little bit of a jar like this and it's it's really hard to make any nice design like this It just it just slathers on and it, you just can't do much with it, right? And so what we want to do is grab a ziplock bag in order to have more control So we're gonna go ahead and put all of this icing into our ziplock bag right here So, I'm gonna go ahead and maneuver all this down a little bit, like that. We're gonna create a very small hole at the very end. We wanna keep this small because we wanna have as much creative control with our design as possible. So as soon as we make a hole, everything starts coming out. And we wrap it right here. And what we're gonna do is grab our little snowman right here, and we're gonna start designing. Boom, 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 and boom. Then create some buttons right here, and like that, like that, like that. And what you can also do if you want some colors, obviously we're using some vanilla frosting right now. That doesn't, you know, maybe it's not that cheery, not that Christmassy. What we can do is just add a little bit of dye to this icing. So I got some red dye, some green dye. So you can apply that, mix it in right there, and we're gonna do that in the next step. Mix a little bit of the green dye with cream, and then this would be the red dye with the vanilla icing right there. And we're gonna go ahead and apply it to the cookies. All right, so now that we have two different colored dyes, we are going to go ahead and add a little bit of color to the snowman, give him a little bit of a hat to make sure that he stays warm at night. Oh yeah. Got a little bit of a hat on top. We can smoothen it all out. Now it's time to get on with the tree.
All right, so for this next easy hack, we are going to make some chocolate shavings. Now this is useful for so many things. But what we're gonna do is take a chocolate bar, and what we're gonna do is take a potato peeler, and we're just gonna peel off the sides just like that, just like so. The harder you push, the bigger the chunks that come off. And you can see what we're doing here. Now that we got some chocolate, delicious chocolate shavings, we're gonna go ahead and, and take a delicious beverage that we have. Take a little bit of whipped cream. Pour that all over on top, just like so. Bam, and in order to make it look extra awesome, we're gonna go ahead and take some of these shavings. And just, Oh, buddy, look at that. Wow. Look at that. Doesn't that just look so damn delicious? Wow. So good. That looks awesome. So damn good. All right guys, we all love pancakes in the morning and when Christmas comes, we wanna make sure that we are in the festive spirits. So we're gonna create some Christmas pancakes. So what I have here is some just typical pancake batter. You can find this anywhere in any grocery store or you can make it from scratch yourself, but I'm not doing that today. What you're gonna need, this is tip one. This is the first way of how you can do everything. What you're gonna need is a little condiment container and I'm gonna fill it up all the way up, like so, should be good, and we're going to clean it off, make sure that we are ready for an artistic adventure in our frying pan. Got to make sure that all the chunks in the pancake mix are nice and mixed up, because otherwise you're going to have a little bit of clogging in here. We're gonna turn on the pan, we're gonna wait for it to heat up, and we're gonna make ourselves some Christmas trees. So we're gonna spray our pan right here. Make sure nothing sticks. We're gonna take our condiment bottle, and we're gonna go ahead and make a very nice Christmas tree. Give it a little bit of a stump as well. And then we're gonna fill in the middle, because you want a pancake, you don't want just an outline, right? So we fill in the middle, so we fill in the middle, we don't want just an outline. As soon as you start seeing bubbles, let's flip it over nice and carefully and gently. Just like so. When you're done, just plate it right here. You got yourself a Christmas tree. However, 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 hold on, hold on. That might not be an exquisitely designed Christmas tree. The effort was there, no lie. But maybe, maybe not all of us are so gifted with our designing talents. So here is a second tip. We can use some cookie cutters. That's right. We can put these down on the pan just like so. And then we just spray the hell out of them. Make sure that they're on on the proper way. You want to make sure that this side, the one without the double edge, is on the bottom. But we're going to spray it like crazy because we want to make sure that none of the batter sticks. So you want to spray the inside of the cookie cutter just like so. Okay. And then, a little bit more inside. There we go. And then, we want to make sure that we put just enough of this batter. The more you put, the more it's going to overflow. Remember, this is like cake. This stuff rises. You don't have to worry about the shape because it's all going to fill in right there. That's what the cookie cutter is for. So that's just enough right there. I'm going to put in a little bit here. Filled in. And now the star. Like so. Like so. And we're going to let that cook up until we see a little bit of bubbles on there, and then we're gonna use some tongs to lift these cookie cutters, flip them around, and they should be perfect. 
All right, so now we got some bubble action going. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the cookie cutter. Make sure you grab it firmly, sort of. That pretty much did the trick. Take that off. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and just take our spatula right here and do a nice little flipperoo. And look how awesome those look. Those look fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. We've got a snowman star and a little present. That looks so damn awesome. All right, so they're perfectly made. We're gonna go ahead and plate that right there. Put that on the plate. Obviously you wanna make a bunch more of these if you want to actually satisfy people's stomach. But let's say we're done. We get a little bit of maple syrup poured on top just like so. Damn, doesn't that just look so good? Wow. In fact, let's go ahead and give that a try. Mmm. So oh, good. And so damn cool. So that was a delicious way to spice up your pancakes during the holidays. Let me know if you guys give it a try and how it worked out for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed these Christmas hacks today. I wish you a Merry Christmas and Amazing New Year as well. Thank you so much for your daily support. If you haven't picked up your Christmas crew yet, links in the description below if you're Pete.com. Anyways guys, we'll catch you guys next time. Let me know what you guys want to see next. So you guys stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course, get laid. Hey guys, Stay Hungry is now available on Amazon worldwide. Grab a copy today and let me know what you guys think. As always, check out our previous video and subscribe to the daily vlogs. We'll catch you guys next time.